Hey Explorers, Mark here and welcome. Welcome to my ship builder's guide. It's a beginner's guide and um, I'm here to help you sort of understand the interface and get started because it's a lot. This interface is a lot and the game does not explain anything to you. But real quick, I'm going to point out there's usually a trade kiosk right next to the technician and this is where you could sell stuff on your person but also you can sell stuff from your ship by hitting left bumper. Really useful. Anyway, let's go back. This is the guy. This is the first guy you're going to meet, you're going to talk to, and he will have several options for you. You can repair your ship. You can view and modify your ship, which is where we're going to spend most of our time. But also, you can purchase ships from him, and I don't recommend this. I mean, especially in the beginning, you're not going to have much money anyway. But in the long run, you're going to be able to get ships out in space and, um, and upgrade the ones that you get. So... I don't recommend that, especially early in the game. So let's go ahead and go to view and modify my ship. Sure. Now, as soon as you go into this tool, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot going on here, but it sets you in inspection mode at first. And you can kind of look around your ship with the right stick. You can kind of, you can glide around and look at things. And if you push up on the left stick, you can get up to the ship systems. And this is kind of helpful because you can go left and right on the left stick and you can sort of select the different systems and it'll show you the manufacturer and the model in blue down there at the bottom. It's pretty helpful and it also highlights the parts, you know, on your ship. Left bumper, right bumper, that's gonna, if you own multiple ships, you're gonna be able to go through your multiple ships with uh, left bumper, right bumper. But I'm gonna show you the builder first and then we'll, we'll do some upgrading later. So go ahead and hit X and that'll get us in the builder mode. And I know there's a lot of buttons here, right? There's a lot going on, but just relax. We're gonna start off real slow and real easily. So let's navigate over to the cockpit. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit. So hit the A button and it's gonna select that cockpit and then we're gonna move it over to the side. We're just gonna kind of get it over there and hit A again to sort of drop it. Now. What's cool is there's an undo and a redo. So if I hit left on the D-pad, it's gonna undo. And then if I hit right, it's gonna redo it. So it's pretty helpful. And it goes back several levels too. So to change levels, you know, go up and down here. Like if you have a module and you need to move up and down, you're gonna press up and down on a D-pad, also helpful. So what we're gonna do is go into an empty space and hit the A button. And then that's gonna bring up a menu with all the different types of components like engines and if you look to the left it shows the engine and it kind of how much it will upgrade that specific part and we're going to use left bumper and right bumper and that's going to get us through the different types of modules and components so grab drives if you upgrade those that's going to increase your jump range um, really useful if you want to go farther out. Now, habitats, those are the things that we walk around in. Those are the things that are going to have the tables and the beds and all that stuff. Reactors, that's what provides power to the ship. If you look over there on the left, you can see as I cycle through, there's more power for the more expensive stuff. Now, structural stuff, this is mostly cosmetic, but this is how you can make your ship look cool. Um, we'll do a little bit of this later because um, I kind of wanted to see, I want you to see what it can do. Landing bays, that stuff is obviously so that you can walk up a ramp into your ship. And cockpit, cockpits, pretty self-explanatory. Dockers, those are the things that you use to dock onto other ships while you're out in space. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Habs, and I want you to select the Nova Galactic All-in-One. And uh, this is great because um, it's not very heavy, and it's going to add two passenger slots to our ship. So go ahead and select it. And if you move it around when it's red, obviously that means it won't connect. But if you press up and down on the D-pad and you get it right, if it's green, that means it successfully will add. So hit the A button and we did it. So we now have two more passengers that can ride with us. So go ahead and go into an empty space and click A again. And then we're gonna go, this time we're gonna go to cargo and we're gonna add a cargo bay. So if you go to, to the, um, the, um, the ballast cargo, it's the 100 centimeter one. We're gonna go ahead and take that. Now, if you look, those are like the attachment joints. Those are the sticky parts. And those sticky parts have to attach to another sticky part um, on the ship. So some parts you can't rotate and flip. The option's missing. And I don't know why they designed it this way, but it drove me nuts trying to figure out how to rotate these parts. And some of them you just can't. I don't know if that's gonna come in a patch 
but something tells me it probably won't. <laughs> anyway, if you if you look down, we can attach this thing to the bottom. So as soon as it's green, hit the A button, and we successfully added 210 pounds of cargo. It's pretty cool. And it hasn't actually cost us that much money. Now, let's go back to the cockpit. We're gonna hit A to select it or edit it. We're gonna bring it back, and it's gonna snap on, hit A, and it's going to stick. Now, we have a ship with a long neck. <laughs> So uh, it looks a little dorky, So, but we're not done. There's a couple things we need to do. So let's go ahead and we're going to add the Demio spine. We're going to go to the structural section, and this is, this is just for aesthetics. We're just going to make this look a little better. So we're going to snap that part to the top. Then we're going to go back, and we're going to grab another part. And this is the spine C, and it's going to go right behind it. Now, this part you can flip. It has three attachment points, so that's why I want to add this one, so we can add cargo later. But look, this one can be flipped. Or, well, I say rotated, but it really, it's flipped. And so I flipped it a little bit just to make it a little more accessible, and it snaps onto the top. And again, if you can't get up there, remember, press up on the D-pad to change your levels. Now, the paint job is a little off. I did paint my ship before this tutorial, but I want all of it to look the same. So what you're going to do is highlight the ship and hit left bumper to select the whole ship. You don't want to do one part, the whole ship. Click in the left stick to bring up the color. And so I've already painted it. So if you want to keep the same paint job, what you're going to do is hit left or right on the left stick, and then you're going to go back to where it was. I know that sounds really strange, but let me show you again. Go to color two. And if I go right and then left, it sort of resets it. And so uh, it sounds strange, but that's the only way I can figure out how to get the same paint job onto a new part. Now, if you look, we have a warning. We're gonna go into the flight uh, check and it looks like we have a problem. So when it's yellow like that, that means that it's a warning. My ship will fly, but you're just gonna have some issues. So we're gonna go in and upgrade the ship. So we're gonna hit B to go out and then A to go into um, upgrading. So we're gonna go into the engines and we're gonna, you, can, you see it's kind of expensive. It's $11,000, but hopefully you have enough. If you don't, you're gonna have to go do some missions and save up the money, but we need to upgrade it so that our ship isn't quite as slow. Now you look, if we check, we do a flight check, all systems are nominal, which is awesome. Now, I have one last important tip for you. If you get this error message, and I had this error message for <laughs> a long time and it drove me bonkers. The Docker module needs to be on an outside edge of the ship. Okay, so let me explain to you what this is and how you can fix it. Um, so I didn't even know what the Docker module was in the beginning. So um, let me bring up the flight check just so you can see this is what the error message actually looks like. It's in the error log. So what you're gonna do is um, first, let me show you what the Docker looks like. So it's that little, it's this piece here and it's what you use to attach yourself and dock with ships out in space. So the problem is it needs to be the farthest out, not these modules. These modules are too high and they are now the edge of the ship. And even if they're really far away, they would cause an issue. So you can see that I deleted it and now the error message is gone. So, okay, I have, I have one more tip for you. Um, by the way, how cool does this ship look now? I love this. This is so cool. I love that you can add these parts and so quickly you can just, you can see them. In fact, there's, our, there's the cargo hold that we added. But um, I have another tip for you real quick. Uh, if you wanna access your cargo hold, um, there's two ways to do it. If you go into your ship and you come in here, um, if you bring, if you hit the menu button and then go to your inventory you ha and you hit left bumper, that is probably the fastest way to get to the cargo hold. Um, you can also do it up here, up by the cockpit, and you can use up and down on the D-pad to grab things if you want. And um, those are two ways to get to your cargo hold. Don't forget to like and subscribe, folks. It does help me out quite a bit. Thanks for checking out my video. Do 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 I eat game. Yeah.